Finished? Yes, excellent. Okay, so um, the original title for this talk was um, The Source of All Evil. Uh, well, it is, but um, I've actually decided I'd much rather call the talk Because. However, before we get into that, um, I, would, I would just like to say a word to our sponsors. More specifically, Bite Mark. Next time, I propose that what you do is you have a presentation consisting only of a single slide. A <laughs> single <laughs> slide should say this. <laughs> and I will happily state for the record that Shadowcat is a happy customer of them among other hosting services. We anyway. are too. <laughs> Say that after giving him all the heckler. <laughs> so, because, more specifically, because Damien said he'd use it. <laughs> Most specifically, because he said he, he said he'd try it out and send me failing tests. Any opportunity to say one volunteer to Damien Conway, I cannot turn down. Anyway. So, uh, right, Devil Declare. Devil, uh, uh, everybody has, has, has uh, encountered the glory and the insanity by, at some point and in some capacity by now. Okay, so Devil Declare lets you pass things like method foo and actually produce um, a method um, with a dollar self in scope and whatever. So the original version of Devil Declare, um, written by me over the course of about two years of swearing and reading the Pearl Source code, because I had no idea what I was doing. But the people who did know what they were doing said it was impossible. Um, and I think, actually, in hindsight, the answer is it was possible, but I probably shouldn't have. Um, fortunately, however, it has inspired Zephyrin to implement something competent, so it's all good. Anyway, the original version. Um, it trapped the compilation, the creation of the opcode um, for a call to the uh, sub method. Great, okay. Not so great. The problem is, if the package or if the package already exists, like say main, um, Perl's wonderful routine s intuit method. <laughs> yes, part of the to there, there's several routines in the tokenizer called intuit something. <laughs> oh joy! I'm feeling back. I'm going to move that further away from it. Okay. Um, so it gets passed as main error method and they're in your screw. Uh, method strict doesn't work either, in most code. Uh, <laughs> could use it in form, I guess. Uh, so, okay, the current version of double declare instead tracks the construction of the comp stop and checks the string. Um, so it then has to fight to not match things like just method in double quotes. Um, now, it wins that fight, but it, it, it's kind of icky, um, and it, it, it's the source of much strangeness and potential brokenness. Also, Devil Declare is excess. It was originally incredibly bad excess, um, and then Raffle took it over from me. Now it's reasonable excess. Um, but people still get confused using it, and there's not much visibility into it. And okay, so why is Devil Declare better than a filter in the first place? Because it's token sensitive. Um, normal source filters are line by line. Um, Devil Declare actually cooperates with the tokenizer and therefore um, actually passes just the keywords. Um, anybody who's ever had switch.pm um, get confused by some pod and change the line numbers, thus moving the error messages around in their program will understand why um, non token sensitive filtering is evil. Um, but because, but okay, so normal filters are line based. Uh, yeah. So I went back and read through Tope.c again, uh, because that's always fun. And I noticed, I noticed when it's parsing, I noticed this. This, right? It's creating um, a reference to a code value, and it's getting the CV out of the glob, and it's creating the glob op to hold it, right? It's creating a glob op that holds that glob. That takes a reference, which means but if I use B to get the ref count of the glob ref, I can tell when it's been parsed from Perl. So, filter util call, core as of 5.8, Damien code, never mind. <laughs> so what we do is, if we see method something, we return just that chunk. 
Now the problem is, the source filter gets cooled until it returns a line. Except at end of file. So what you do is, you return zero to signal EOF, and that causes the parser to go and take what it's got. But, then we don't get cooled anymore, because we've signaled EOF. So what you have to do, oh, yes. is add back in, is add back in dollar self as a source filter, and then return zero. So you get removed, but the, set, but the new copy's already there. At which point, you can just do an S slash and turn that into that, which compiles fine. Okay, great, but we still have the method main problem. No, we don't. Star prototype to the rescue! Because a star proto means glob. Bare words are allowed for globs, which means you set the prototype of the sub in your glob slot that you're watching the ref count of, and it passes. At which point, filter keyword new. Here's a package, here's a keyword name, here's a parser. The parser is just a subroutine. The reason for dollar match source is so that if you have the keyword on one line and the rest of it on another line, it still finds it. <coughs> Declare that, stick in a string to make sure things aren't getting confused. Quick call to it, and lo and behold, it works. Keywords in pure pearl. What could we do with those? <laughs> Don't. No, it's all, I'm, I'm not going to. Somebody else already said he's writing that. <laughs> so, filter keyword. I shall ship to CPAN tomorrow. If you use it, just remember. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Thank you very much. Wasn't that